Good morning YouTube, it's been a minute or so. Uh, today's task, I'm at a job site and I'll show you what we're gonna do. <clears throat> All right, so what I've been hired on to do is, this is a hallway, about right where I'm standing, there's a soft spot in the floor that we're gonna be pulling out. And then here's the men's bathroom and somebody put a new laminate floor in here. <clears throat> and right where I'm standing, there's a soft spot. And uh, I know right under here, there's a floor joist that's busted. So we're gonna look in there, ripping this floor out <clears throat> and getting into this hallway. They already paid another guy to come in here and do this bathroom. And uh, this room had originally <clears throat> three inches of floor in it. It had several layers under it. And I got to do some drywall work back here. Um, I patched it, but it was quick in a hurry a long time ago. So I'm going to have to go back and, and do it again. At least clean it up, make it look better. But that's not today. So <clears throat> I have a tripod, but I forgot to grab it. So I'm going to go ahead and pull the toilet, pull the air vent, roll this linoleum after pull the trim around the room. And uh, I shouldn't have to do nothing with the sink because I ain't got no tripod. So I'm going to get that done and we'll come back and see what we've got. All right, everybody. I got the door trim off. Toilet's out. This is what I'm dealing with. This wall shares a sink. Well, it's got a sink drain in it that shares with the sink in the next room next door. Well, the drain had come apart and uh, for who knows how long had been leaking into this wall. Well, their solution, and I hate to say it, was to uh, new floor new floor new floor i don't know how well you can pick this up <clears throat> but there's actually three layers and some tongue and groove flooring so that's where this floor is almost i kid you not i'd say that is close to three inches thick right there floor on top of floor on top of floor the other bathroom was the exact same way so mildew everything's still wet because everything's been holding water i mean the other bathroom has been over a week ago but we're still dealing with wetness so all right i'm gonna keep going all right i managed to get this little patch piece here around the toilet out and like i said i pulled one piece of plywood up there's another floor which we knew that was even with one. This is the second floor. So I pulled a little patch piece up. Look, there's another floor. <laughs> they cut along the wall, so. This is what I'm dealing with. Uh, this, if I get this one up, we'll get that one up. And I gotta peel all this here all out because all this is full of mold. It's all gotta come out. Uh, I think we can see all the walls shot underneath it, so all that's gotta come out. So, okay, I'll keep going. All right, here was where I'm at. I got it all ripped out to the floor joists. Well, most of it. All right, piece of half inch uh, plywood. Sit down on something. Quarter inch, a three quarter inch wafer board. This is one of the original floors. Here's another floor, three quarter or seven sixteenths OSB, and on top that was a. Oh, well, here's what you can see. This one had only three layers, so half inch, three quarter, and seven sixteenths. So basically half, 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 half. And then on top that, it had quarter inch under uh, overlayment on top that for the linoleum floor, so yep, this is what I'm getting into. This floor joist needs replaced. It's pretty bad, pretty bad. 
Okay, I'm gonna keep picking away. All right, here's here's where I'm at. I got the uh, rest of the floor all stripped out. I got literally just this one floor joist in because the one that was right there broke in half, just disintegrated. That one there goes under the wall. It's bad too. So my plan is, is uh, I ripped out all the supports. There's nothing underneath this floor right here. And I don't have a flashlight. But all this has to come out. I have to tear all this out. And I got to do it around this water line. So that's going to be tricky. Because uh, I got to, I got to slip a board in here. And I really don't want to have to cut it up to get it in here. I don't want to do two pieces. So I got to figure out how to get it in around this water line. I think I'm going to have to disconnect the sink and then slip it in behind it. Or cut the water line and then do everything. I might have to do it that way. Because I'm not about ready to just start cutting corners and scabbing this together like everything everybody else says. This floor, all the way to where the end of the towel is, is all full of mold underneath it. I don't know if I can even get underneath there and show you or not, or if it will even show up on the camera. Might be too dark, I don't know. All right. So, yeah, it's too dark. Too dark. Well, this is, I think I wish I had a flashlight. This is the guy's repair floor can't see i wish i had a flashlight uh yeah i just need a flashlight oh get out right there but i don't know i'm gonna take some measurements i'm gonna make a phone call and uh we'll see where i go from there all right everybody i'm in the hallway now pulled the carpet back all that is water damage and mold this is more of that OSB 7 16 This is a piece of wall paneling. Wall paneling, people. Soft, rotted out, all of this. This is just trapping moisture in the floor. This is why we have the damage and the mold issue we have. All this has got to come out. Even under this stinking wall here. All that under that wall has got to come out. All this is, so I've got to support, support this wall before I rip all this out. Right now, actually, this wall is actually supporting on one floor joist that's barely hanging on, so she's actually only held on by the drywall and what structural technology is left into this building, so. Keep going as far as I can. All right, here's where I'm at. I ripped out the hallway floor. Roughly from here to there is four foot. Uh, this floor joist, has been scabbed on to all the way to about that point. And like I said, that is bad there. Always that wall. I'm gonna take this whole floor joist out. That one is also scabbed into under the bathroom floor. But the problem is, is that is they already got the new floor in. This all should have been ripped out. That all of this. All the way up to that floor joist, past that door. All this should have came out. All at one time. All should have been reframed. New floor joists and put back correctly. That's not the case. Uh, that floor joist is fine. I think I'm going to go ahead and leave that on there because it's not hurting nothing. Uh, but I know I need at least four floor joists. And I'm going to get a measurement here. I haven't done it yet. I'm, I'm getting a demo list of what I need. Looks like I'm gonna need about three sheets of plywood. OSB tongue and groove, that's what I'm putting in. I'm not gonna do with that cheap nonsense that was in here, it's press board. That's why we are in the situation we are. Uh, I'm gonna get up some screws, screw the floor down, some nails. Well, not nails, I'm gonna screw everything together because I like screws better. Uh, clean all this up when my battery's all charged up and then I'll have to just this is gonna be the tricky part because that floor is already its own set thickness that floor is its own thickness and this floor well it's the same thickness as that so I've got to match this when I put this all in 
when I match all that. So this is going to be a little complication by itself, but I, I'm not worried about it. I'll figure it out. I'll get it. But, uh, the mold was clear under this wall. This wall is actually just barely sitting on this floor joist. I mean, barely sitting on this floor joist. So when my batteries are charged, I'll come in and cut all this out. Uh, I'm going to get some measurements, get a list. I'm going to go to the store. I'm going to pick up some lumber and, and we're going to go from there. All right. Thanks. All right. I removed this two by six that's under the wall. This wall is now just floating. So come into the bathroom. There is literally nothing. Let me get over where I can see it because I removed it all the way down. It was broke. It was bad. So literally the bottom plate of the wall is missing. It's here, but it's gone down there. So I've actually got to go get a board and put a new bottom plate into this wall. All that there is that guy's that did the other bathroom. So I'm tucking up under this wall. I'm gonna get the flooring up under this wall. I gotta go get a, a valve, that valve's shot. Uh, I removed that kickstand that he left from the floor to the ground. So I got rid of that so there's no termites. And I mean, he should have carried those boards all the ways and made these one long but that's not how he did it and it is what it is so you can tell that he didn't even come this is his floor then this is the underlayment this is the drywall there's literally oh that much inch and a half from the original floor touching the wall so my goal is to tuck my floor up against this floor so it's under the drywall and his underlayment so that's gonna be fun considering my floor is gonna be stopped by this little scab that he put in here not really sure what that's doing but uh I got a little piece over there I got to cut out. So, yeah, I'm going to keep going. Alright, I had to put some extenders on the wall studs, which was kind of tricky to get up in here to screw those off, but I was able to accomplish it. Did one there and one here, and I had to cut a new bottom plate of the wall because the other one was completely soaked. I got my floor joist right here notched and ready to go in. Alright, so it's standing up where it wants to be. It's not where I want it to be. And I think I'm going to have to go get a piece of flooring and use it for a spacer for the time being so I can space my floor on my walls and wherever they want everything to be so I'm gonna have to find me a piece of material so I can do that with uh, this will be under the wall so I'll be able to raise up and then support this wall again and it'll be 100% taken care of I got this one in just a 2x4 but it's sitting on a 2x6 sitting on the foundation so it actually goes underneath the wall there I did not go all the way down because there's actually just on the other side of that like very little like I mean I'm, I'm touching it right now there's another two by six it's sitting on the foundation that's already supporting the whole wall so in this being underneath that was unnecessary but what that's gonna allow me to do is gonna give me something to raise up and level my floor off with and make everything even so all that's going to do is just help me square everything up. Still don't know if I'm taking that off or not. Like I said, I'm going to throw a board in here and raise everything up floor level. I still got one more floor joist to put in here. Cut the toilet flange off because I'm not cutting the floor. I'm doing all this one piece. I'm doing this right. I'm not. It's going to slip under this wall and go into the hall. It's going to. It's all going to be reinforced. This here is going to have to be dealt with because 
this is a brace that's holding this floor joist and now everything's coming up because I'm subtracting the three inches but I'm going back with basically an inch thick floor so till two and a half inches three inch two inches is eliminated because he's got it all on the bathroom floor over there this is permanently stuck where it's at and there's nothing I can do about it so um, I've got to go get my hangers we get me a hanger to hang it here that way it's properly secured I got a couple of them in the truck so I'm gonna go get a piece of flooring so we can get this spaced out so I can get this put in place so I can get the second one cut and get it in place all right okay I've gotten the two floor doors in I already showed you that I got the plate in I've got them sitting where I want them now the problem I'm having is these are built up like they're supposed to be off of this. Well, this one's down lower. I don't know. I'll have to look. I don't know if they built this one lower. But either way, my problem I'm running into is right here. I've got my plywood. And put it in there. See how much lower I actually am? I don't want that. I'm not out to scab it back together. I want to do this correctly. This is already tucked under the wall nice and tight. Which makes no sense. Because this is riding the same height as that floor over there. So. Hmm. Well, it's higher here. It's dropped there. So does that mean I got to put a piece of 5 8 Or did I do this wrong? Let me ponder it. Alright. Uh, this is a nightmare. Never would have thought that. <clears throat> this was actually way lower than this one. And it should have been the same level. So now this is all dead level across. It, it wasn't, but... It, I, it's it's a mess. This is it, this all should have been tore out. Every bit of this should have been tore out and done at one time. Because I've got a different level here, different level there, here and here where I'm standing. I've got a mess. Since I ain't tearing any of this out, I can't tear this out. It's just gonna get into more trouble. So what's gonna have to happen is I've got enough boards. I got four more boards that I'm gonna have to cut and I'm glad I, I got 12 footers but this one here is gonna be this one here is gonna be a full board from that end to this end and what that's gonna do is I'm gonna level this one here out first to the exact floor depth that I want to match this one and that one and what that's going to do is it's going to allow me to make this one the same all the way across. And then this wall's got a sag in it. And right here's got a sag. So this has all got to come up. This has got to come up because of nothing here. So that's going to be my main one. Now I've got to come up with materials to go from underneath that all the way under here and put a main beam under this wall to support this wall. Because, again, nothing. And these floor doors ain't going to do it. Because there's, you know, the expand right here. Because there's nothing, the, the floors, it's just, it's a mess. See, it originally should have been all ripped out and floors were tucked underneath. And, uh, I'm, you know, I was able to, basically, I, I seen water drip. I don't know where that was coming from. Either way, uh, I was able to slide a piece of 5 8 on top of that board, under the wall, and secured it. And then put a board underneath. Now that wall is secured by that board. Well, it's firmed up on that wall. So that floor joist is now tied into that wall. Once I get a brace underneath it, underneath this one. And I think since I jacked this one up, it's now off here. So now i got to put a board underneath there to raise that column up. Uh, that's... I'm gonna have to sister boards on these, raise them up to the height I want to match this, so I can put the new floor in. And the same thing's gonna have to be done right here. 
The only reason why is because this has got three layers of flooring and this has got three layers of flooring and I don't know how many layers of flooring underneath that. This is only going to have one layer so it's got to make it even. So I've got to bring the two by sixes up to the level. Same in the bathroom. So this is where everything gets complicated. But I'm figuring it out as I go and we'll get there. Don't mind that board on the end, it's just sitting there. Uh, I'm going to come back tomorrow and we'll go go through this. Alright everybody, I'm back. It's the next day. Um, I had a game plan figured out in my head. So I grabbed some lumber that I had laying around the house. My plan is, is I'm going to take some boards and I'm going to fill the gap between here and here. Double up two two by sixes, two two by sixes, two two by sixes, and I'll be then I gotta cut up that's enough boards to, to make this band of that, and then I'm gonna come up underneath and put a board across, and then that's gonna push up on this wall. Hopefully, I can get it underneath this floor enough under this doorway so this whole wall will be suspended. That's the plan. Uh, with that all taken care of, then I'll be able to put my runners in. I think I'm going to get this done. Try to get this done. And, uh, get this all supported back up. Get this all back one level piece here. So when I put my, um, uh, scab boards on, I raise the floor up to the height that the other floors are. Uh, I think I'm going to work this hallway. I'm going to get this hallway done. Cause, and I'm still debating on ripping that all out. I haven't made up my mind just yet. So it's not out of the questions. But got some blocks. We're going to build a support beam underneath here. And that support beam, I'm going to look at it. And see if it what what can be done with it. It needs to come out and be relocated. We're going to, we're going to do that. So, Alright. Okay, here's where I'm at. I got my boards cut for my uh to lift the floor joists to make these all run even with each other i've got this board scabbed in so it's level across i put plate 5 8 plate underneath the wall and yeah, three quarter plywood under the wall so what i did was <clears throat> i filled the vat the gap where the floor is supposed to be underneath the wall this one actually runs all the ways that way and it's tied into that floor over there to give that floor strength there's another board underneath the cistern onto this it's pushing up on it is there which is taking the load on this wall this is now fully secured and and i mean this sucker's solid it's not going anywhere that whole wall secured this on the other hand was a different story i had to build a bunch and get a long board right there because it just kept pushing down finally i was able to get this pushed up Because the plan is, I had to run this flush and my floor is going to sit on top of that. Okay, keep in mind that, yes, it's flush with over here, but it's not over here. Because right here is where I'm going to run this board flush to the top of that. This one's going to get relocated because it's not done right. I just, I got it and looked at what I did and then it's not gapped over there on the floor. Because I had to, there was a huge hole in the floor right there, even where he didn't even cut the under limit right. So that, I'm, I had to put this in there to fix that for the other guy's mess. <clears throat> I looked into replacing this 4x4. Four four. Well, it's because he's got it so, when he's got it underneath there, if I took that out, the bathroom floor on the other side would fall through. So that had to stay. There was no question. So what I did is I cut me some shims. And I wedged those suckers under both these nice and tight. These are not going anywhere. That's tight. It doesn't look tight, but it is tight. Because I did get my floor leveled out. I scabbed on, scabbed on, scabbed on, scabbed on. So now all I gotta do is just cut my boards, drop them in. This bathroom is complete. Just so I can literally, this is ready for floor. Uh, these are doubled up basically. Because, I mean, they only stick up, oh, the inch. 
it, yeah, about an inch. That's all she sticks up. And we're talking two by sixes. Two by sixes doubled up. Five and a half inches. So you lose, I don't know, you got over four inches of surface area that it's doubled up. And uh, that one's attached to the, uh, I don't know, on top of that, they're sitting on the, uh, all the way down, they're sitting on the bottom plate. So I didn't even have to notch anything. That was just perfect how they fell down there. But these ones here, they run clear to that back kick plate there like they're originally supposed to. That's why they had to be notched so that everything can run true and level. But uh, this is doubled up the floor joists plus it's got that underneath it. So this is going to be super strong. This is literally ready for floor. I'm working under here because that's dipped right there. I got to do something with that because this selection here is down too low. It's just, I got, I, this has all got to be reworked, and I don't know how to do that just yet. I'm working on it. That's why I got me a board under there yet. I've got it sitting underneath there. I had to use it. I got one underneath here. So now this area is all taken care of. So now I've got to put in my pieces in here. So when I put my floor down in here, this is all be buttoned up and taken care of. So making progress. It is going very slow but it's a lot of thinking i literally had to jack this wall up and this wall i kid you not moved almost an inch up just to get it leveled off because that's how much she had a sag in it uh but it is what it is and this has got to be jacked up hopefully it doesn't put up too big of a fight so we'll go from there all right here's where i'm at now i got these all in now where they're supposed to be i got my new beam under this point of the wall all the way down to about set floor joist right there it goes under that floor joist all the ways over here so that has got one block there i'd say a foot gap a block there and there's probably a two foot block gap over there so they can crawl in and out for the plumbing and then I didn't go underneath this because I had to have access to get to that side of the room to get to the plumbing. I got these married up now where they're supposed to be. That's his underlayment. See how that big old gap right there that he's missing? That would have been clear to the ground. Uh, you would have seen dirt. Like bugs have been coming up and everything in it. So he's got this level with this here. I've got all this set up to know when I put my new floor in and what I'm putting in will come all level here and I'll continue all the way down where it's gonna stay level with that there. I put a beam in under there. Basically, a, because this here didn't come all the way out to here because the way I had to be cut. I didn't want this to be a soft spot and then fall in. I, so I put, I put a, a board underneath there. It's a two by eight, it's all I had. So I notched it as a two by six and I put hangers underneath it. No way you can see that. But it, this is now strong. This is all level across. So what I'm getting ready to do now is I'm gonna go get me some ply board, make my measurements. I'm gonna cut this and I'm putting this floor in right now. That's what I'm getting ready to do. So we'll get on it. All right, I got the floor in. I didn't film it, I should have. But I this isn't just this is just laid down over the top of it. Uh, I had a couple rough spots in there I had to go in and take care of. Uh, basically, it's laid out so I can have a feel for how it is. I do have a something going on right here. I'm gonna have to address. Not really sure what it is. I don't know if I got something underneath there. I just didn't know. Maybe it's right here. Just a small little small little hump. And I got this bathroom started. I got underneath and put the toilet flange in. I got the hole in the floor just a little bit ago. What I'm getting ready to do is hook that up. This has been a job, I tell you what. This is one solid piece. I didn't get it as tight to the wall as I was wanting to. I don't know what happened there. Measurements came out. But and look at it, it follows the floor joists perfectly all the way down. Just in for regularly, so had a gap between there, so I took a board 
and wedged in there as tight as I can get it and screwed it down so there is no access from underneath through that. I'm going to get some spray foam and spray foam a lot of this to kind of keep a lot of the uh, draft out because I know there's a spot right there that's got to be addressed. And I had a soft spot right here. And I just climbed underneath there and put a board in there and got all this all tied together. So from basically from here to here, this is all one gigantic chunk right now. So this is not going anywhere. So now I got to put a filler piece in here and make these two meet up 100%. So, oh, it's just been fun, fun, fun. I think I'm going to take a break. I don't know yet. I'm going to go ahead and hook that up real quick so I can run off and go get me something to eat or just take a break. And basically it's going to come down to is cutting the hole for the vent and getting the vent in and the door jam is I need to trim the door jam out. I need to put oh, put the linoleum back in. After I put the trim back in, toilet back in. It's just we're getting there. It just seems like it's taking forever. But hey, you know, compared to where I started to where I'm at now, this is only second day. And with the wall being down and the floors being uneven and now they're one transition. Even right here, it's one transition. So, yeah, I'm happy with that, even that boy, a little humpy right here. I don't know, I'll have to pull the carpet back and address, address this right here. So, like I said, the carpet's not attached, it's just down so I can feel imperfections and, and take care of them, because I'm not going to do this part way and just call it good. So, I'll have to trim this up and hopefully the door still fits good. Now I'll have to trim the door. Ah, uh, and got one little bubble in the drywall. That's fine. That's what's gonna happen when you drywall and saggy wall. But I already got this board here cut to length. I just gotta cut it to width. And uh, measure out for the vent. But other than that, it's just getting that board in. Everything underneath is done. Thank God that's a pain in the hind and they get underneath. Uh, but then it just leave me working this threshold, making these surfaces match, fixing the couple spots in this, getting this all laid back out and tucked in there, put the transition strip there, transition strip there, the trim back around, and go from there. All right. All right, final results. All cleaned up. Yeah, this, we come here, Yeah. I know there was just so much mold under this section of floor right here because of the water you know, leak. I, I took pictures on my camera and I was almost having to go. I'm going to lay them out soon and have the pictures out. Of yeah. What our bathrooms look like. And I got an illustration for it. Here's the illustration. Howdy, y'all. I want to apologize for the uh, short finishing video. Uh, the guy who was the uh, in charge of the building come in and started talking to me and he was trying to close up as fast as he could so he can get on home i don't blame the guy it was like getting late uh but i tried to do my best to give you as much of the video from start to finish i did have my tripod but i didn't get it set up there was too much traffic in and out of there for people so it would have made it very difficult to have a recording and it just what I was able to do was the best I could do at that time. So I hope you all are really enjoyed the video. Um, don't be afraid to get out there and take uh, jobs on like that if you feel confident. And if you're going to do a job, do your best. Like, don't cut corners. I mean, <clears throat> if you don't feel it's comf you're confident to do, to do the job, don't take it on. Because... I know I had said in that video that the other bathroom was done by some other people and they cut so many corners and uh, 
but it is what it is. I had to do the best with what I was able to do and try to save them some money. I don't know if it ever did save them any more money than my first bid that I offered to do the whole thing for. But uh, either way, it's all done. He's happy with it. Uh, I do appreciate everybody who's watched my videos. I encourage you to try to share my videos if all possible. See what my videos out there. Help me get my channel to grow. I want to appreciate everyone that is my subscribers that I have now. And I want to say thank you all. And uh, have a great day and God bless you.